in the fire. Static foam that they put on there is that being like um, that is specially designed so they could play piano, but at a certain skill. Level. Check it out. Left, I think it's his left arm. He, he, he messed it up in a motorcycle accident in the 80s. thing is like it could have been like it be that we'll talk later good morning my name is Joey Scansella. If you don't know me, I work in youth and children's ministry here, and welcome to our 10 a.m. Mass. Welcome to all those live streaming as well. We just have two quick announcements. Some people have asked about the yard signs that we passed out last week. Um, we do have a few left. We, we rationed them per Mass, okay? And there were some yard signs that invited people to our, our Christmas Masses, and so um, there are about 10 or so left. So if you're one of the... One want to be one of those lucky 10 people. It's at the hospitality center on your way out, okay? Um, the only other announcement we have this morning is that obviously we have one week till Christmas, and one way that we love to prepare is obviously through confession and drawing back to the Lord, and we have a big reconciliation service this coming Tuesday 
in the church, okay? Tuesday in the church, we're going to have a bunch of priests. Uh, we would love for you to come and uh, to be able to receive that sacrament to prepare for the birth of our Lord. Also, on our in our bulletin and on our website, you can find all our Christmas mass times, our, our normal Sunday mass times, and mass times for the holy day, the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, on January 1st. So we hope to see you at all those things. And let's just take a moment here as we enter into the last week of Advent to just quiet our hearts before Mass begins and think about what way we still need to prepare for the coming of our Lord. So let's just take a moment of silence here before we start our Mass. Please stand as we begin this morning. As we begin our celebration on this fourth Sunday of Advent, let us join singing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. All the songs are found on the song sheets, so join us today as we sing and we celebrate. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really seen in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, and I have felt to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. 
Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, the grace in our, into our hearts that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Shepherd of Israel, hear us. 
back to find that you're right at this planting The son of man who grew yourself and strong Give us to life and we will shall be saved Lord make us turn to you Let us see A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant left in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cry out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb left for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, this Sunday we are celebrating the fourth Sunday of Advent. And what a beautiful gospel the church gives us for this Sunday. This gospel where we see two women, two pregnant ladies, right? Two pregnant women. And when they encounter each other, what happens is that joy appears. Joy. You know, I, I visited the mom's ministry I believe uh, two or three times. And when I go, there is a lot of joy. There are like 50 moms, right? And the moms are louder than the babies. <laughs> and they are all very happy. And it's beautiful indeed. And it speaks of God. Here we have two pregnant women. And the joy of heaven occurs. Something beautiful. These two women they rejoice seeing the action of God in their lives. Seeing how God is doing something with them, with the other mom as well. And they rejoice. Brothers and sisters, this is what God wants for you and for me. To experience the joy of heaven. To experience the joy to see how God acts in your life and in my life, and that his work is beautiful. His work is well done. And so we can rejoice, and so we are invited in this season of Advent to enter into that joy, to realize the goodness, the love of God. See the second reading from the book of, of the letter of Hebrews, right? It says something very interesting. And somehow it invites us to prepare ourselves. We have very few days before Christmas to prepare ourselves. And not so much doing little sacrifices, right? Doing things that don't really reach our hearts. But to do the will of God. Behold, O oh Lord, I come to do your will. And those little sacrifices are good. Of course, it's good that we do some little things during Advent, but let us risk for God, right? It's like learning how to go on a bicycle, right? In the beginning, for the younger ones here probably, right? You had these extra wheels in the back, right? So when the bike, bicycle moves, you feel safe. You won't fall. But there is a moment that you say, you know, is the time. I got a risk. I have to take those wheels off of the bike. And that's the real deal, right? To go on two wheels. Some people do one, but that's a different story, right? 
This is what God wants. Let us risk for the Lord. Let us imitate Mary and Elizabeth, whose life was driven by the action of God. This is what God wants. Let, let, let us let him take control of our, over our lives. That he will do a good job, believe me. You know, that he will lead us to joy. You know, in the first reading we heard this prophecy that announces the coming of the Messiah, the Messiah who is a shepherd. So let us be a sheep and follow the shepherd. Let our lives be like Mary and Elizabeth and let the Holy Spirit guide our lives. It impresses me. It was for me preparing the homily during you know, these days from last week to think that it is the same Holy Spirit, this same Holy Spirit that filled Elizabeth with joy as we heard in the gospel today. This same Holy Spirit that visited Mary and filled her with the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Spirit went in her, right? This same Holy Spirit who has guided the church for thousands of years. It is the same Holy Spirit that wants to enter into your life and in my life, to abide in you and to abide in me, and to make real the things of heaven, that God loves you, that God loves you very much, that God wants you to rejoice, he wants you happy, he wants you to discover more and more that he's a good father that takes care of you, that in him you can trust like Mary did and like Elizabeth did. And so enter into joy. Let us prepare ourselves in this season of Advent, these very few days we have left, by abandoning those early things, those, those things that somehow impedes us to enter into joy. Let it be resentment, envy, greed, right? You know. You know well. Those things that separate you from God. Those, those things that separate you from one another. Let's take these few days of Advent seriously. God wants to act in your life. Let us abandon those things that are in our hearts. Those things that move our will away from the Lord. And let us do what the second reading said. Behold, O Lord, I come to do your will. Behold, O Lord, I come to do your will. And let us not be afraid. Let us not be afraid to let God to make of us a story of love like he did with Mary, like he did with Elizabeth, that God will move us to love the other like Mary did, right? As soon as she found out that Elizabeth when I was pregnant, she walked up the hill and went to see her, to help her out. This is the work of the Lord that moves us to love, to love God and to love the neighbor. And in the context of this love, we experience joy. And that's what Christmas is about, right? We have family, we have friends also coming over. It's a great opportunity to see how the action of God makes these words real in you. And so we can truly renounce to sin, to welcome the Lord, and to love God, and to love the neighbor, and experience that joy from heaven. And this Christmas will be beautiful, because it will be a heavenly action of God in our lives. Amen. Let us profess together the faith of the Church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, the born of the angels, 
God from God, light from God, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was seen incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious body. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Let us present to our Father our prayers. May the Holy Spirit grant us strength and joy as we share the gospel message. We pray to the Lord. For our elected leaders, may God grant them understanding and courage for sowing unity rather than division. We pray to the Lord. For all expectant parents and their unborn children, may God grant health and wellness to mother and child. We pray to the Lord. That the faithful response, behold, I come to do your will, O Lord, will be voiced by each person discerning a call to serve Christ as a priest, deacon, sister, or brother. We pray to the Lord. For all who are traveling to visit loved ones, that they may find joy in each other's company and may return home safely. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and all those who care for them, may God's grace bring them healing and strength, especially those whose names are in the bulletin, on the prayer chain, and also for Lucy Ann Ricketts. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially for Raul Rodriguez, may God grant them everlasting joy and peace in heaven. We pray to the Lord. In a special way, this morning we pray for Walter Gürken, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, accept these our prayers and those that remain in the depths of our hearts. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
and meekness and lowly will your cradle be all clothed in human weakness shall we your God and sing dear Savior haste come come to earth dispel the night and show your face and bid us sail shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy of you surrender to my roof. Pardon you say a word, I'm not so sure.
seraph, cherubim with sleepless eye, veil their faces to the presence, as with ceaseless voice they cry, Jesus, you brought heaven 
against my king. What a Bible name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a Bible name it is. The name of Jesus. What a Bible name it is. The name of Jesus. What a Bible name it is. The name of Jesus. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast of day of our salvation draws ever near, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Just two quick announcements. There will not be confessions tomorrow. Uh, the parish penance service will be Tuesday at 7 p.m. We'll have a lot of priests, like 15, I think. So please uh, know that. Also, um, uh, as you know, um, there, we have a lot of people coming back to church, and that's great, but there's still some that um, um, need some encouragement. So, we want to invite you to extend an invitation and encouragement to those uh, friends of you, family members, to come back to church, especially during this time of Christmas. It's a wonderful occasion to invite them to come back to church, to celebrate with us, and to receive the body of Christ. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The sea and what fills it be out. Let the plains and the fields be filled with joy. For the Lord comes to rule the land. Then shall the trees, the trees of the forest exult. Before the Lord who comes out to rule. Just
is for all of the earth In constant love He comes down to rule the earth Let the heavens be glad 